Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another video right here on my YouTube channel. And I have been trying a couple of boxes that have been sent from around the world. Recently, specifically from the United States of America, you'll remember in the last episode, I opened a box from Louisville, Kentucky, from Lisa Van Houten. Again, a great, 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 amazing box full of local stuff from the area. And I actually received another box, which I, I kind of thought about opening in that video, but it, it's too huge. I have to do it all in one video just for this box. Look at it. Oh my God, I can barely lift it up. It is enormous. This thing must weigh about 30 kilos or something. And I can see from the lid, you know, it costs an absolute bomb to send it in the mail as well. So I will be opening that in today's video. Guys, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for all the people who have sent boxes. Great to see you all here. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below um, and you'll be part of the family. During these times of lockdowns and all the rest of it, People are wanting to see, they're wanting to escape and get out of their, their home and into other places. And a lot of people obviously want to visit Scotland. So it's my mission this year to bring Scotland to your doorstep in various different ways through my videos on this YouTube channel, but also for these like private walking tours. Very excited to do that. So that is my new thing this year. Please do sign up. There's a link down below and you can register your name. It'd be great to see as many of you as possible on that walking tour of my hometown in Edinburgh. So I don't know how I'm even going to do this. This box is enormous. Um, is, I absolutely love receiving boxes from you know the States. People from the States send me all kinds of amazing things. The last box was from Louisville, Kentucky. I'll put a link to that video down below as well if you want to watch that. Received some amazing things from Kentucky, from Lissa. Today's box, I can see from the top of the box, is from Letty Ryan Debar, and she's from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona, a box all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. Letty, thank you very much for this. It is an enormous box. I know you've went to a lot of effort to send me this box. Um, I even got returned to sender at one point and then returned back to Scotland, which is all kinds of crazy, but that's what happens in international postage, especially when it's like large heavy items, is a nightmare, is expensive. So I hugely appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, and if any of you guys want to send me a box as well for me to open on my videos, there'll be a link down below where you'll find my postal address. All right? So without further ado, really, I'm going to open this box if I can lift it up on to my sofa here and get into it. It is really, really enormous. And heavy! Whew. So heavy that I can lean on it and use it as a bit of a table, a side table. But um, we're not going to do that, we're going to open it. I've got my scissors here. Let's get into this thing. Phoenix, Arizona, another place I've never been to before. Arizona, if I know right, is the desert, right? Southwest? I'm not sure about that. Phoenix, Arizona, like another place I want to come. I said last time, you know, as soon as we get back to normal, coronavirus times are over, I'm coming to the States. I want to see so many cool places. Kentucky, and also Arizona. And when people send me these boxes, it's great because it really gives me a flavor of what your hometowns or your states are all about. You know, I've had so many great boxes from places like Detroit, from, from North Carolina, South Carolina, from Florida, and it's just really, really cool and exciting. So let me get into this, see what we've got. Very, very kind of everybody to be sending these boxes, especially in coronavirus times when everything's a bit more tricky. It's greatly appreciated. Fingers crossed there's been no mishaps as this box has traveled all the way from the Southwest of the United States to Scotland. I can see there's lots of good packaging in this. Letty has taken care of this really, really well. All right, let's get some of this packaging out. I've received a lovely, lovely letter here from Letty. Um, who sent me this box all the way from Arizona. I read these letters thoroughly and, and I really, really love when people send me this stuff. Um, but I don't read the letters out on camera because it's usually kind of personal stuff. But let me just say Letty, I'm going through this and it's amazing. And I can see from the photos that Letty has sent me that she is a nurse and she has been on the front line um, battling coronavirus. So Letty, first of all, I just want to say you are a hero and I appreciate you very, very much for the work that you do alone. Um, it's truly, truly astonishing. The work that everybody in the healthcare industry has put in over the last year, all the challenges you've gone through, and you know, for you to have sent me this box is really, really heartwarming. Uh, uh, it kind of makes me emotional. I just want to say thank you, Letty, for that alone, is the fact that you are, you are a hero. And I just hope that you know that. And there's also a photo of Letty and our, and our partner, Max. Um, thank you very much. This is really cool. Great, great, great to see you guys and meet you guys, basically. But like I said, I'll go through this letter in private after I finish filming this video. But I can see from the letter initially that uh, Letty lives with her husband Max, her, her daughter Mackenzie, and her son Jack. So 
from me to Letty and your whole family. Hope 2021 is a great year for you guys. And uh, lots and lots of love from me basically for sending this amazing box. And I'm really excited to actually get into the box now because like I said, it's enormous and wow, really, really cool. Not sure what's in this bag. I think it's postcards. And a magnet, wow. Postcard of the desert. Look at that, I knew it was a desert, Arizona. I don't know where I've seen Arizona before. Where have I seen Arizona before on TV? And that is a rattlesnake. Guys, I need to come to Arizona. I need to come and check out the desert. Look at that beauty. It's unbelievable. That's an awesome fridge magnet. A Western diamond rattlesnake. Love to see one. I would not like to get on the wrong side of one. Key differentiator there, I think. So where do I start? There's so many, I can see there's lots of goodies here. Lots of stuff that I shouldn't be eating because I'm supposedly on a diet, but let's just say that that is on hold for the time being. Chips, can't beat it, look at that. That is the wrong way around. Chester's Puffcorn Cheese Chips. Wow, lovely, I am gonna, Tekka loves cheesy crisps. Um, I know she's gonna really like these, but I don't know if she's gonna have to fight me for them. Look at that, and it's enormous. Letty, you're a nurse, you're supposed to be helping me out here. This is just cool, really, really cool stuff though. I'm gonna to need to share, because there's so much stuff here, I'm gonna to need to share it with my family. Um, they're all gonna enjoy this as well. I'll take it to my mum and dad and um, my brother and sister. Funyuns, onion crisps. They look amazing. These are all things that we just don't get here in Scotland as well. That's what's fun about opening these boxes. All things that we don't get. Now, as a lot of people send me um, from around the world, I get a lot of um, like magazines and newspapers from their local area. And that is a really, really great way for me to get to know your side of the world, basically. So Letty has sent me like a bunch of magazines from Arizona. You can see that one there in the background. Arizona Highways 2020, wow, that's gonna be really cool. Um, and I will go through all of these and read them. Great stuff. The Arizona New Times, um, looks like a magazine supplement. The North 32nd News, which I presume is a local newspaper. I will go through all of these so I can learn all about Arizona. Brilliant stuff, Letty, thank you. The, uh, this is only just the beginning, guys. This, this box is like insane. Only just the beginning. More Funyuns. I'm gonna try some of this stuff on camera as well. What on earth are these? Chex Mix Snacks. No idea what's inside here, but it looks like a mixture of like chips and other savory things. These will be great for a house party if I ever have one. Not that we're allowed to do that right now, and not that we can do that. Really, really cool. Looks like we got some kind of biscuits or something in here. Oh my goodness, these are gonna be good. Nutter butters. Butter, good. Nuts, good. Biscuits, good. No idea what they're like. I'm gonna try them. You should have tried them now on camera? I should try them now on camera. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it's a biscuit with some kind of buttery, nutty stuff in the middle. Cannot go wrong, in the shape of a peanut. Mmm, peanut butter in the middle, oh my god. You guys in America, let me just tell you, you have way better snacks than we've got. Way better snacks. It's not a comparison, it's not even in the same planet. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Love peanut butter. They are delicious. I'm not sure name of my family. It's like, honestly, I'm like a kid at Christmas. This is unbelievable. Fruit sweets. Can't go wrong with fruit sweets. I'm sure they're delicious. Blow pops. Tootsie roll pops. Some other kind of candy stuff. Looks amazing. Excited to get into them as well. I mean, this box is truly astounding. We've got some beef jerky. Of course we've got some beef jerky all the way from the United States. The South, or the Southwest rather. Beef jerky, you can't, you can't go wrong with this stuff. Like, it's all good. And then, I mean, you guys just know me too well. Let you know me really, really well, obviously. Black Rifle Coffee Company. Hmm, excited to try this. Some more wrapped stuff. I'm not sure what's in here. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, these are pretty cool. Wait till you see this, guys. This is this is awesome. 
I can see in the packaging, but I can't open it. Before I give it away. What is that? That there looks like a scorpion inside a lollipop. <laughs> Love it. Love it. That is straight from the desert. You can tell this is a box from the desert just by this one lollipop, right? I'm excited to try this, actually. But what happens when you get down to the scorpion? Are you supposed to eat it? Like, do you eat scorpions? I guess so. Something else that is um, another wee scorpion trinket. More stuff from the desert. How cool is that? This, this box, honestly. Where do I go from here? I'm going to go here to something heavy and bottle like glass bottles, maybe, of some sort. What is this? Letty, you've been watching my videos, I know you have, because I've mentioned quite a few times how much I love cream soda, American cream soda, and I can see here two bottles of cream soda. IBC cream soda. Can't wait to give that a try. Love cream soda. I live for cream soda. It's brilliant and like, I don't think I've had a bad cream soda. So there you go. Barbecue crunchy corn nuts. I'm fascinated to what, what these could be. No idea. Is it a nut? Is it a corn? I have no idea. You know what? This is something I think I need to try right now on camera because it's too curious. I've never seen anything like this before. All the stuff that is in this box I've never seen before. But this, I don't even know what it is. Like, don't want to make them explode everywhere. They smell good. Corn kernels. Oh my word. I know what this is. This is like sweet corn, but roasted with flavor. Hear that crunch. Oh wow. Oh, smoky. What can I say? These are, these are delicious. Like the things I've tried, everything's delicious. I'm going to be tasting barbecue for days and that is a good thing. Another bottle in here. <laughs> wow. I think I know what this is, maybe. Oh wow, this is good. We don't really do syrups here. We don't do syrups like you guys in America do syrup, right? We do have syrup here, but we don't have syrups like just, we don't have it on everything basically, but you guys have it on everything and I think that is great. This is a huge bottle of Aunt Jemima's original syrup, which I have never tried before, never even seen before. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go on some pancakes or some bacon or, you know, you guys put it on everything basically. Good stuff. What do I open next? I think we've got cereal now. Because he had a big smiley face on it. Look at that. <laughs> this is too cool. Another thing, like the cereals that you guys have in America are just very different from our cereals. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think they might be quite similar to Golden Grahams that we have here. They are delicious, so these do look good as well. I'm excited. And look at the size of that smiley face on the back. Let's see if I can copy his face. Eyebrows up. Everything is just so well wrapped as well. Premium quality cream soda in a can. Amazing. Like I said, you just can't go wrong with cream soda, right? This is just a bag throw of candies, like Jelly Babies, like Coca-Cola Tic Tacs. Coca-Cola Tic Tacs, what on earth? There's like, all, just all kinds of stuff there that looks really, really great. Um, my diet is shot to pieces, basically, and it's all good. I'm not even complaining. When I was in America, I tried cornbread and I loved it, right? But it's not something we have here. I'm not even sure if you can buy the mix here. Probably not. So this is much appreciated. I will be making cornbread now, basically. Beautiful. Bass Pro. I love this. This is brilliant, guys. Not sure if you know this. I think I've mentioned it on some of my videos in the past, right? But I used to be a fisherman. But I'm a fisherman, right? I used to go a lot fishing when I was younger, when I was a you know, teenager growing up. Um, and I always remembered look into the United States of America for some of the fishing shops that you guys have. And one of them, one of the brands is Bass Pro. And here is a cat from Bass Pro. This is really, really, really cool. Uh, and I'll be wearing this quite a lot, especially when I go out fishing here in Scotland. Bass Pro, brilliant, brilliant hat. 
And you know what? I might just keep this on for the rest of this video. It will keep the hair right out of my eyes as well. Letty, you've been watching all my videos because you know that I mentioned about fishing, right? Because you've sent me loads of fishing lures as well. How cool is that? All the way from Bass Pro. Super, super thoughtful. Incredible. And a huge and brilliant Bass Pro t-shirt as well. In fact, I have been, I'm not gonna lie, when I went to Florida a few years ago, I went to a Bass Pro shop and it was mind blowing. It was like the best. It was like, I, might, I just loved it. More cool little fishing trinkets. Can never have enough of that type of thing. Oh, that's really nice. There's, um, he's also put some, some jewelry in the box as well, which I presume is for Tekka. That is really, really nice and thoughtful. She's going to love that. Just help myself to some more of those corn kernels because they're too good to put down. Now we're talking guys. Now we're getting into some serious, serious, serious stuff here. I can smell it as well. So many things America is known for, but one of them has to be the best hot sauce in the world. Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I'm gonna love this. I love hot sauce. I love your food. This is gonna be epic. Simple as that. Oh, there's also, eesh, also something that looks like jam. Cactus jelly. What on earth is that? Made with cactus, mixed with, made with prickly pear cactus. I mean, I've just never seen anything like that before. I'm betting it's good though. I mean, it will be good. As well as the syrup that we got, we've also got Jemima's pancake mix. This is going to be some months of food. Okay, this has opened and I can smell bourbon. Something's opened here and I can smell bourbon. Really, really strong smell of whiskey. Ho ho ho, that is good. Um, but something has definitely, something's definitely opened a little bit here. I mean, if anything was going to burst open in the plane, and make a nice smell, it is bourbon. It's all been wrapped so, so well that the spillage didn't affect anything else. But whiskey or bourbon has such a strong smell that it can smell a mile away. Oh, I think the glass is actually maybe even broken, so I probably need to be a bit careful with this one. One glass is broken, I think. There's another one that's intact. I think I'll be right with this though. I wanna cut my fingers. Wow, it's not even bourbon, guys. It is Clyde Mays. Alabama style whiskey and I'm sure that's going to be delicious. I love my whiskey as you guys know that is going to be good There's just no two ways about it Unfortunately, the other one in there has smashed a little bit and I'm not gonna open it because I probably will cut my hands But one of them survived uh, and, and it's just smell it smells beautiful the smell coming from that broken bag is, is delicious So that is cool <sighs> Can use it like an aftershave but Incredibly There's still more there's still a lot more to this. Wow. That looks like good quality. Valley Honeyco, raw, natural, unfiltered mesquite bloom honey. I love honey. Tech loves honey. We're just gonna we're just gonna love this. This is beautiful. Something again that I've never seen before, let alone tried. Jalapeno jelly. Is that gonna be sweet? Is it gonna be spicy? I don't know, but I'm very, very, very curious. It looks like a homemade natural thing as well. So very, very cool. Serve, serve over cream cheese based on pork tenderloin. Top on a grilled steak. That I mean, that's just gonna be delicious, right? Classic. Desert provision, good quality salt. I think I mentioned this in my last opening video, but you cannot go wrong with a good quality salt. And that looks like good quality desert salt. Beautiful stuff. Amazingly, we're still, we've still got quite a way to go in this box, guys. This is just absolutely amazing. Letty, you are, like I said, you're already a hero. You are a hero for what you do in your day job, but, um, you know, this is just truly special for me. And I cannot quite believe what I'm seeing with all this. It's just unbelievable. This is, I don't even know what this is. It's another cream soda. Beautiful. I, I've just got so many cream sodas to try now. Wow, that's cool. That's a different... Um, Bag Balm, Skin Moisturizer, Vermont's original. I use a lot of um, a lot of moisturizer because of my bad skin, because I've got psoriasis, so I will be trying that out definitely. Oh, this is like classic America, and I just love it. Honey Creamy Roasted Peanut Spread, peanut butter, love it. You can't go wrong with peanut butter, especially American peanut butter. You guys know how to do it way better than we do. Our peanut butter sucks. You guys have good, good peanut butter. I can't wait to get into that. More mysterious items. I am a lucky, lucky, lucky boy. Lucky boy to have such an amazing community of people who watch my videos 
and take the time and effort and all that rest of it to send me all this cool stuff. I mean, this is just a bag full of whiskey and, and bourbon. I mean, how amazing is that? Thanks to you guys, my collection of American whiskey and bourbon is now brilliant. Letty, this is cool, really, really cool. Thank you. What do you know, more whiskies and bourbons. A whole bag full of stuff. There's like unusual ones. Snake bite whiskey, peanut butter whiskey, sour mash whiskey. Like these are all just really, really awesome. Tennessee sour mash, like so cool all this stuff. I mean, I, I don't know when I'm gonna drink all this, it's a lot. But I will get around to it at some point. Maybe, because I've got so many cool whiskies now, maybe I do a taste test of all these whiskies in another video. That is gonna be epic. I've got enough of it to invite everybody I know basically and we'll all get pretty pissed on American whiskies. Quite funny, you can get like a smell coming out of boxes sometimes and it's just like the smell of Arizona. It's beautiful. Very well wrapped as I needed to be. Wow. Another Bass Pro item. This is a cracking massive mug and, it, and, it's, and it's amazing. Love it. Look at that. That is going to be for some big coffees. And we are actually finally getting there towards the bottom now. There's just one more box of stuff to kind of go through. A box within the box. Beer cooler holder thing. Awesome. Love it. Haha. -ha. This. Another thing I use when I'm fishing quite a lot is a neck gator and an American flag. That is very cool. I might actually find somewhere to, you know, kind of put this up, hang it up or something. Awesome. Love it. Very, very soft and comfy as well. I can already feel it. Good stuff. And very appropriately given the times, some filters which I think go in the net gator. Keep us safe from the virus and all the rest of it. Red, red vines, candy. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with that really. Look good. Haha, -ha, Reese's peanut butter cups. You guys in the States with your peanut butter is just, it's just an epic, love it. Milk duds, chocolate made with, candy made with chocolate and caramel. I mean, that just sounds great. I think I'm gonna have to try one right now. Oh, they're like little chocolate, little chocolate buttons. And very good. Mint candies as well. Haha. <laughs> and then last but not least, to close this box off, this epic, epic, epic box, some Twinkies and a bunch of Twinkies. That is very cool. Letty, this box was the most sensational thing I have ever received from anyone ever. I love it. So many cool things. And you clearly went to vast efforts and expense to send this. So from the bottom of my heart, like I said, thank you very much. I hugely appreciate it. And I hugely appreciate everyone who sent stuff. But Letty and Max and your whole family, hope all is well with you. And like I said, you are, you are a nurse on the front line. You are a hero. And I, I'm sure I speak for everybody who's watching this when we say thank you very much for all your work that you're doing, uh, keeping people alive. Especially in this really, really hard and challenging last year. Um, it has been hard this last year. It's been really hard for everyone. And when I receive stuff like this, this box, the amazing letter and all the rest of the stuff that I've, I've got in this, bo this great, amazing box, uh, it just fills my, my heart with joy and with warmth that, you know, there's amazing people out there. There's amazing people in this community, amazing people that watch this, these videos. And I really love to get to know all of you. And you know, when I sit, when I get these letters and stuff, I really get to know you and your family, basically. So, Letty, you're amazing. And hopefully I can get myself over to Arizona and can meet you and your family in the very near future once we get past this horrid situation over the next few months. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video of me getting a little sample of Arizona and you know, America in general. There's a lot of stuff here, not just from Arizona, but the States in general. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me kind of open and react to some of this stuff. Like I said, please don't forget, sign up down below to reserve your place for my tour of Edinburgh. It'd be great to have some of you guys on there so I can show you the old town. But that's it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. It's been great to speak to you as always. And until the next adventure, hope you have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care.